Can you believe it? Perfect score. <laughs> Good job, Moon Pie. And not just that. Colleges are already sniffing around to recruit him. What do you mean, colleges? He's 10. Principal Peterson said Caltech is interested. Where's Caltech? California, Mom. California? It has Cal right there in the name. You're not a part of this conversation. The tech is for technology. Shelly, go to your room. The adults need to talk. Well? Shelly, I am very proud of you for doing so well on that test. But you can't go off to college. Mom! In a few years, sure. But right now, you can just keep taking your one college class with Dr. Sturgis. Why can't I go there full time? Oh, baby, it's an hour away. We can't drive you back and forth every day. I'm the one who's been driving him. And she loves it. How can he be so smart and so clueless at the same time? Dr. Sturgis lives at the school. What if he acted as my guardian? That's an idea. A crazy one. But it would only be on school nights. Shelly. What's the point of being intelligent if I can't take advantage of opportunities like this? Welcome. Come in, come in. You like chalkboards, huh? Indeed I do. In fact, I even have one in the bathroom. You never know when inspiration will strike. I may be the luckiest boy in East Texas. I know it's Thursday, so dinner will be spaghetti and hot dogs. And for fun, I have a few episodes of Cosmos recorded. Forget maybe. I am the luckiest boy. Remember, it's a school night, so his bedtime is 7.30. Huh, mine too. Watching Cosmos while we're eating dinner? Am I awake because this feels like a dream? Oh, not for me. In my dreams, I'm usually running for my life from a giant praying mantis. That's the insect where the female eats the male after mating? It is. I think I understand why you're not married. I'll be in my room if you need me. Here's a glass of water if you get thirsty. And there's fresh chalk on the blackboard in case of any late night epiphanies. Excellent. Dr. Sturgis? Oh, Sheldon. So nice to see you. I think you tripped and hit your head. I'm a bit woozy. I better test for concussion. What's your name? John Burgess Sturgis. Burgess Sturgis? Great name. Thank you. Who is the President of the United States? George Herbert Walker Bush. I like Burgess Sturgis better. Because it rhymes, sure. Last question. What is the only fermion that may not have an antiparticle? The neutrino, of course. I'm going to rule out concussion. To be fair, it was an easy question. True. Wait here. I'm going to go get some ice for your head, and I'll fix you a hot beverage. Oh, there's a there's an Earl Grey tea bag in the sink. I think it still has some oomph in it. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Dr. Sturgis, your tea is on fire! Boy, it's a good thing we did this trial run. No kidding. Ooh, it's chilly out. <laughs>